In this video, we're going to show you how to add a calibration record. To start, let's go ahead and make our way to our gauge that we want to add a calibration to. We'll select that gauge. And we want to make sure that we have a few things set up before we go and do the calibration. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have our scheduling set up. We can choose the interval. I have it set to scheduled and I have the time set to six months. We can make this whatever time frame that we'd like. We could also choose something like beginning or end of month if we calibrate at the beginning or the end of the month. We can also upload a file to the gauge record, but we don't want to add our calibration certificate here. We're going to want to do so by adding it in the calibration record section. We also can set up our test template as well. For more information about test templates, please watch our video on how to set up a gauge record. Now that we have that set up, we can go ahead and add our calibration record. We'll click the calibration button. If we scroll down to the calibration test section, we can choose what kind of test we want to perform. If we have an internal test that we want to perform, we would select detailed. It's automatically going to pull in our test template that we set up on the gauge record. If we want to copy it from another one, we can do that by selecting another gauge. Now with that set up, we can perform our internal calibration test. If the as found data is within spec, we'll get a check mark. Same with our as left, it'll give us a passing result. But if it's out of spec, a little flag, it is incorrect. But if we zero it back out to a correct nominal value, then it'll pass. If we're just gonna be recording an external calibration, we would select basic. If we wanna reference the record location, we can paste the link to it right here. If we have a certificate that we wanna upload, we would go here and choose the file that we'd like to upload. It's gonna ask us some questions if the gauge was found within specifications and if it overall passed or failed. Depending on what we select, it might trip an action required button. Down here where it says action required, yes. It'll ask us if this out of tolerance condition would cause a product nonconformance. And depending on what we select, it'll ask us additional questions and other information to fill out here in the form. If we scroll down, it'll ask us the date that we performed our calibration on. We'll go ahead and select that. And based on our scheduling information that we set up on the gauge record, it'll automatically give us our next due date based on that time frame that we set up and we can change the status as well. We can record any additional comments or time and cost, and then we could save the record. It'll ask us if we wanna update the gauge record. We're gonna to wanna to select yes, because this will update the last and next calibration due dates on our gauge record. We can also choose to send a notification to our signees, and we can include the PDF attachment to be sent. We'll select yes. From here, we can print a label generate a certificate. We could also sign the record digitally if we have that enabled on our account. So I'll click sign record and hit okay. And now we see the record has been digitally signed. We could also print a label and generate a certificate. We could see it recorded our as found and as left data and also our digital signature. And that's how you add a calibration record. Thank you.